by Eddie. Just your reflections on that first of all, please. Yeah, look, uh, obviously very disappointing result. Uh, Wales worthy winners. Uh, thought our boys overcame a very tough start to get back into the game. Uh, really worked hard to get themselves to 24 all. And then uh, again, we let ourselves down a little bit. Um, and probably the last play is indicative of the game. I think we got in there 22 eight times, they got in our 22 six times. And we're in there, we uh, get intercepted and they score down the other end. You know, the score indicates a substantial win for Wales, but I don't think that indicates the, the, the actual game. Two very big refereeing decisions. Any qualms over any of them? Well, they're huge decisions, aren't they? Um, look, we can't debate it, mate, as you know. Uh, we're not allowed to debate it. Um, all I'll end up with is, is a fine, and, and that doesn't help anyone. Dog won't be able to eat its food. Uh, wife won't be able to eat, so I can't say anything. No, no, but it, it, did it change the game? Well, you know they they get a they get points maybe they don't deserve, and uh, we're going to fight hard to get back in the game. It makes it difficult, and you've got to be good enough to overcome that. So we, as I said, they were worthy winners, um, and we've got to be able to handle those circumstances as unusual as they might be. Do you feel at times you got perhaps on the wrong side of the referee? Uh, look, you know, there are times we gave away penalties we shouldn't have, we know that. Um, and it's just from, from the effort. And sometimes when you get in a situation like this where emotionally you struggle a little bit in, in the game because of the circumstances, you try a little bit too hard and that happens. Is discipline a big problem? Oh, look, I think whenever you get beaten and you get beaten by a penalty count, it's, a, it's an issue. Um, but there are bigger issues in the game than that. And I think you hit on them initially, so I'll let you discuss them, mate. So, I, obviously, I, I don't want your dog to go with that, but you do feel like it was more the referee's decision than the discipline itself. No, no, well, as I said, Wales were worthy winners. We've only got ourselves to blame. We take full responsibility. We don't blame the referee, but sometimes there are circumstances that happen that are difficult to handle, and, and we weren't good enough to handle it. Hi, Jay. Hamish, we'll come to you next, please. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks James. Thank you. Bye. Hi, Eddie. I just wonder if you could reflect on two periods of the second half. Firstly, when you came back into the game, arguably the best you played in the Six Nations, and then the last 10 minutes when there were a lot of penalties that handed the initiative back. Yeah, look, um, we played some good rugby today. As I said, we got in there 22 eight times, I think there six times, which generally gives an indication of your quality of your play, but you've got to be able to convert that, which we weren't able to do. Um, so we're, we're pleased with the effort of, of, of the team. You know, no one uh, can say we aren't a, a hard-working, honest group, and we'll learn from this. You know, it's a great lesson for us, great lesson for us. And in terms of the penalties at the end, I mean, that, that seemed to just take the game away from you, Conor Sheedy, you know, he kicked pretty well to take the game away. Yeah, no, uh, he did well. Uh, yeah, he kicked three quality penalty goals when the pressure was on. Um, you know, again, we got on the wrong side of the referee and we've, and we've got to do better than that, Hamish. And Wales getting the triple crown and 40 points is a, a record against England. Do you feel that maybe that's slightly? Oh, look, that's what the scoreboard says, mate. Congratulations to them, you know. They've been through a tough period. We, we understand that and they've come out of it. So well done to Wayne and his team. Uh, we've only got great admiration for what they've done. Thanks very much. And uh, Nick, Simon, we'll come to you next, please. Eddie, when you look at the kind of score of the picture of where you're at in your cycle, are you, are you concerned? Are you, are, you, are you where you expect the team to be? Oh, look, I think you've asked this question before, mate. You never know where you should be. Um, am I concerned? I'm concerned we lost the game today, most definitely. Um, but the, in terms of the World Cup, that's a long way away and there's a lot to be done before 
we have a we have a serious uh, issue that that we have to be concerned. And, and these kind of results can often be a sort of a trigger point and turning point. Do you think there'll be many personnel changes after this? Because previously there's been a lot of loyalty towards the players. Oh, look, today's a great lesson for the team, mate. You know, we were not able to adapt to the circumstances. Uh, they'll only make this team stronger. Whatever happens in terms of selection will get, again be consistent with picking the best 23. Thanks, Nick. Thanks, and we'll finish with you. Thank you. Hi, Eddie. Just on, on the referee, the first try in particular, I've seen pretty harsh over the school to his team as, as he was instructed to. Will he be making any protest to World Rugby Open? As I said, mate, I want my dog to eat food, so I'm not allowed to say anything. Um, I'm sure you guys can make commentary how you wish to. Yeah, just on the two more games to go, is it going to be difficult to pick players up and miss the, the titles effectively over now? Well, it's a five game tournament. We've played three games, we've got two to go, and, and the next game is going to be most important, so I don't see that being an issue, mate. What we want to do is, is play better the next game than we did this game. Uh, improve the areas that we weren't good in this game and, and take it forward from there.